Hi guys, Hurdle here, and this time we're talking about a subject near and dear to me. Is Heroes of the Storm worth playing at all in 2018? There are a lot of other MOBAs out there, so why should you give it the time of day? Before I tell you my thoughts on that, I want to give you an idea of what sets this game apart from other similar titles, like League or Dota. First things first, this is a Blizzard game that encompasses all of the Blizzard universes. Warcraft fan? They got you, boo-boo. Starcraft APM nerd? Flavor for you here. Diablo gets you all fired up? Believe that's in here. Big fan of Overwatch? Well, guess what? You can ruin people's day with Tracer and Heroes, just like you can in Overwatch. Hell, if you're an old-school nerd who remembers when they were called Silicon and Synapse, like me, they've even got Lost Vikings in here to give you painful flashbacks as trying to control three separate characters at once. Also, since it's a Blizzard game, there's loot. You level up, you get a chest. You complete a weekly brawl, you get a chest. Sometimes you just log in, and you got a chest. Why? Nobody knows and nobody cares! Chest! CHEST! So what's in the chest? Calm down, Brad Pitt. It's only goodies in here. How about sprays that you'll equip and then forget to use forever? Or voice lines that you'll hear so much that you eventually tune them out into white noise? Not your speed? How about skins? Yeah, that's the good stuff. Mounts? Oh, didn't it not mention that you can use mounts in this game? Heck yeah, you can. Wanna ride a chihuahua in a luchador mask? Done. Wanna ride a cloud serpent like an ancient hero from Chinese lore? Done. How about a raptor made out of stars or a horse comprised solely of dreams? Done and done, buddy. You can also get heroes randomly or stim packs, but you're mostly going to buy those yourself. One with gold, the other with gems, real money, that you can buy in pack with real money, in frustrating amounts that don't directly correspond to anything's purchase price, so you've always got some left over, but never enough for anything you want, and now you have to buy more because you need that skin bundle that's on sale, and if you can't play as Novon Roller Skates, then there's no reason to play anymore. Sorry, what was I saying? Right, chests with goodies. You can also unlock banners that pop up over points that you capture or keeps you destroy, so everyone knows how good you are at standing on a circle or hitting a key. There's portraits in there that you can apply to your account so everyone knows how much you love those stupid Pachamari from Overwatch, only they look vaguely like your favorite hero. There's also chat emojis that nobody uses because they're clunky and painful, but successfully dropping one of those into a team chat is a sure way to get you ignored in a hurry. Finally, there's also announces the game that narrate your kills, captures, and other points of interest, only can be drawn from different Blizzard universes. Some are truly funny and unique, Gaslo, and some are stupid, Murky. Do you like quests? Well, if you like Blizzard games, you like quests, so they're in here too. Daily quests give you a reason to actually play a healer instead of Zero Tool for the 15th game in a row, you dark edgelord you. You're awarded gold, which can be used to unlock new heroes, which can level up to unlock more chests to get more goodies, and the wheel of not really gambling, but uncomfortably close keeps on spinning. Yay! What of the game itself? Is it fun? Will I like it? Are there cookies? That's a lot of questions, but fortunately for you, I'm already in an answering kind of mood. So let's talk about it. Heroes of the Storm is like most other MOBAs. You play with four other players, trying to kill little minions, destroy keeps and towers, and eventually push your way to the enemy team's core and destroy it. There are a couple of ways to do this in most maps, and with how your team plays this together it determines just how well you're going to do with this. It really does try to offer something to everyone, and for the most part, it succeeds well. Want to be an anti-social moth? Get it? Because social butterfly and... Never mind. Well, you can play versus AI games with AI teammates and still level heroes, complete quests, and do almost everything the game has to offer just without any human interaction. Want to try to play with humans and experience the joy of trying to wrangle four other people and they're focusing on one objective for 20 minutes? You can play with other humans and fight computers as well. Maybe you're more into playing against other people for fun and the opportunity to be called a human cancer upon this world. Quick match is your go-to. And honestly, as a side note, the toxicity in this game is far below what I've witnessed in other similar competitive environments. Mostly I think it's because you can easily mute anyone, or everyone, and still communicate important info through map ping and there's no contact with the enemy team. Think World of Warcraft, but you can't even yell in foreign gobbledygook at them. If you're more into a competitive scene, there's unranked draft and ranked draft, sort of the feeder league and miners of the hero's competitive scene. You go up against other more serious players, sort of, take turns choosing heroes, and then battle it out while being called mean names by people who are, in theory, on your team. Taking a page from their own book, Blizzard also started doing brawls, weekly maps that have unique and challenging win conditions, but reward you with a chest after completing the specified number of matches. So, that may be a lot to take in. If so, Pause the video, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths, and then unpause after you've subscribed and turned on notifications. As I promised at the start of this video, here are my honest thoughts on this game. Do I feel like it's trying to do too much sometimes? Yes. Do I feel like there are serious balance and matchmaking issues that should be addressed? Also yes. But is it fun? Hell yes. Would I recommend it to a new player to the genre? Absolutely. Would I recommend it to an experienced player? Again, yes. This is a Blizzard game, about other Blizzard games, using Blizzard formulas to keep you addicted to leveling up and getting more goodie boxes, and the hell of it is that it works so well. The game may have some balance issues, but it's still incredibly fun to play most of the time. Getting loot boxes is like eating potato chips or snorting blow in a men's room inside a CD club at 3am. You know it's ultimately a path that leads nowhere, but the ride is so much fun it's worth it every time. The developers have talked about making this the year that Heroes of the Storm is given its just desserts, and so far it seems like they're trying to live up to that. There are new events constantly, seasonal and just because. There are balance changes and hero reworks all the time, and they seem to be somewhat responsive to player feedback and concerns over genuine game issues. If you're looking for a, theoretically, free way to spend your time, you could do a lot worse than installing Heroes of the Storm and giving it a try for a few matches. I am Hurdle, 
this is my channel and I want to thank you for tuning in and watching my videos. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get pinged when my new video drops every Tuesday. And I will see you in the Nexus.